Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Anybody who has subscribed to my channel for any length of time will know that I have been doing coverage of a Partworks magazine called Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. It's produced by Hatchet Publishing in association with Games Workshop and serves as an introduction to Warhammer 40,000 in the form of a weekly magazine that comes with plastic miniatures, brushes, paints, uh, introduces you to the rules of the game and introduces you to painting, building miniatures, the whole hobby, the whole thing. And it's a fantastic product. Well, Hatchet Publishing and Games Workshop are at it again. That nefarious partnership has sought to claim more poor souls with the introduction of Mortal Realms. This is brand new out. I just picked this up in a WH Smith. It's issue one. It's pretty much exactly the same thing, but rather than introducing people to Warhammer 40k, it is introducing people to Age of Sigma. Personally, I would have rather they'd done one for Lord of the Rings like they did way back when, but this is what we get. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at the first issue. I'm going to look at the value of the first issue. Um, I'm going to look at the subscriber offer that's going on. I'm going to look at the whole range that, that's coming and everything. We're going to do a deep dive into this particular publication. However, before we do, I'm going to say this up front. I will not be subscribing to this magazine. Um, and there are several reasons why. First of all, I already subscribed to Warhammer 40,000 Conquest, and although Warhammer 40,000 Conquest is coming to the end of its initial run of 80 issues, um, that's still something that I subscribe to, and I don't really want to be running two concurrent Partworks magazines. The second reason, and more importantly, is because, uh, mainly because of Conquest, but also because of uh, my fascination for all things miniature gaming, I have a huge amount of miniatures to paint already. I really don't want to be subscribing to a weekly magazine that is going to be dropping more plastic on my doorstep every month. And in fact, a lot of the stuff that I have to paint, so so this this is three reasons, not, not, not two reasons, this is three reasons why I'm not subscribing. The third reason is, yeah, a lot of the stuff that I still have to paint is Stormcast and Night Haunts, and that is what Mortal Realms is going to be covering. Um, it, you're going to be building a force of Stormcast Eternals and a force of Night Haunts, which are the spooky spectral ghosts. And I already have a lot of those because um, I play Underworlds, and uh, I also have the one of the starter sets for Age of Sigmar, and I also have the big box set of Age of Sigmar, which was Stormcast versus Night Haunts. So I already have a lot of unpainted miniatures that we're going to be seeing a lot of in this particular magazine and um, I really don't want to be subscribing to a magazine where I'm getting a lot of the same miniatures that I've already got over again and adding to a stock of miniatures that I haven't had the time to paint as it is so yeah I'm going to be leaving it there also um, it's very much following the same sort of format so um, the subscription deal they're offering, it's largely the same free gifts you're going to be getting. It's the, the magazine, the structure of the magazine and everything else. It, it's very it's very similar. And a lot of the paints that you're going to be getting, I've already got. You're getting all the brushes again that I don't need. There's a lot of stuff here that, for me personally, as somebody who's already heavily into the game and who has already done the Conquest subscription, it's not going to be for me. Um, so, so that's 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 four reasons why I'm not subscribing. But uh, I guess I guess there's a fifth reason too. The fifth reason going off from that, um, the concept of it being very samey, is that one of the reasons that I subscribed to Conquest, not the only reason, but one of the reasons was I wanted to cover it on my channel and I wanted to talk about it and whether it's a good product. Getting people into the hobby is something that. Um, quite close to my heart. It's one of the things that I founded this channel on. It's one of the things that I'm always looking for ways to get people to try out new games and have a go at painting and, you know, not to put too much pressure on themselves to be immaculate painters straight away. And all of that, um, all of those ideas are very much present in Conquest magazine. And Mortal Realms is doing pretty much the same thing, but in Age of Sigmar. And I feel like the, the content is going to be so similar, I'm not sure I can justify another 80 videos of doing Partworks magazines that are very similar to Partworks magazines we've already seen. 
So, uh, so I guess that's that's five reasons. And uh, and I guess if we want a sixth reason, I'm not made of money. Um, these magazines do represent good value for money. Issue one in particular, this is an absolute steal at two ninety nine. We'll get onto that in a moment, but. Even over the course of the whole subscription, if you have been watching my 40k videos, uh, my conquest videos, you will see that they do represent a good saving over buying everything yourself at full retail price. But um, even though it's a good deal, it still works out. Usually the usual price of the magazine is $7.99. Obviously $2.99 is your lost leader issue one price to get you hooked. Your regular price is $7.99 and you're getting four of these magazines every month. That's basically £32 a month, which in and of itself isn't a huge amount for somebody who is interested in a hobby. £32 a month is a pretty reasonable budget for hobby gaming. But it's £32 that you're committed to paying. You're tied into it. It's not like you can go, oh, well, this month I'm not going to buy those Age of Sigma miniatures because I want to buy that new cool board game that's coming out. You've, you're locking your money into that subscription, um, unless you cancel, obviously. So although it's not a lot of money in and of itself, it, it, it adds up and it locks money. It locks your resources into certain things. And there's so many things that I'm interested in and so many things that I want to carry on expanding and, and getting more of. Um, I'm getting more and more into Dungeons and Dragons and there's some... I was speaking the other day in a video about um, the Elder Scrolls Call to Arms game, which um, based on new information I have just uh, recently found out is going to be quite expensive to get into for someone like me who has to buy everything themselves. Um, so I don't want to tie up all of my money in a product like this. And I think that's something that people need to bear in mind if they are thinking of subscribing, but they're already um, invested in other hobbies or they're already subscribing to the 40K uh, Conquest. Uh, bear in mind that, you know, it's something that you're locking your money into, even though it's not a huge amount of money. Um, it's, it's not small change, 32 pounds a month. I'm not saying, ha, you know, that's just loose pocket change. But at the same time, for an expensive hobby and, and Games Workshop is an expensive hobby, there's no denying it. It's quite a lot and it adds up over the course of the 80 issues, obviously. But anyway, so that's why I'm not subscribing myself and I do apologize for that very long preamble. Um, but regardless, I was in WH Smith, I saw issue one for 2 .99. I can see a bargain as well as the next person and 2 .99 is a bargain for this issue. First of all, let's talk about what you actually get for your 2 99 because it's a lot of stuff. You get the magazine itself. Um, these are the magazines, um, they're the same as the Conquest magazines. They're designed to pull apart. They have the glued spine that pulls apart. Um, they're hole punched because they're going to be selling you ring binders. When you subscribe, you will get one ring binder as a free gift and you are automatically locked into purchasing additional ring binders for obscene amounts of money. And they are well overpriced for ring binders, even if they do have a nice piece of artwork on the front. So, yeah, the, the magazines that pull apart, it's a decent magazine. We will look at it in detail in a moment. The second thing you get for your $2.99 is some dice. Just the little weenie ones that Games Workshop puts in their starter sets, but it's always nice to have more dice. The third item is one of the whippy plastic rulers that Games Workshop puts in their starter sets. Um, it's a useful finger me bob to have. The third thing you get is this map of the Realm of Death. This is a three-way fold and it is hole punch, so it's obviously designed to go into your binder along with everything else. Um, but for some reason, it is served separately. Uh, it's got a little picture of Nagash there and uh, a Sigma. He's watching the football on TV. You get one of these. Make sure you don't miss out every week at your news agent. I, I can't believe these still appear in things. Um, look, you fill it out with your name and address. I remember doing this when I was a kid for Parkworks magazines. Um, filling it out, taking it down to my news agents. I go, can you reserve me my copy of the Beano every week? Um, I probably didn't use that voice. Uh, Dear news agent, please reserve my copy of Mortal Realms. That's that's ooh, that's pure nostalgia. The next thing you get is this, and it says free poster inside, and it is a poster, but it is also 
um, a great big advertising promo thingy. We're going to take a look at that in detail in a moment. But the, the, the poster is, is massive. And look, it's a Stormcast, because of course it's a Stormcast. We've got a little inserty thing, which is telling us all about the free gifts we're going to get when we subscribe. Again, we'll be talking about that in a moment. <laughs> and and then you get, you get, a, what the heck is that? It, you get a play mat. Um, this is, this. <laughs> He's good. It's got spaces for your three storm casts and your night haunts. Um, yeah, this is just for the first scenario, um, the the tutorial that comes in the first in the first magazine. But you get a little play mat. It's on decent decent cardstock. You're not going to use it after the first playthrough of the learning scenario in the magazine. Um, it's not an essential thing, but you know it's nice that they put it in. You get a sprue of the Easy Build Stormcast Sequiturs in gold plastic. Now, these are the Easy Build miniatures that originally appeared in the Stormstrike starter set and have since been made available as a separate purchase. Um, you get three on the frame and you can see they have uh, molded bases. They're actually part of the frame. They are designed to go together without glue. You can see that they have... Um, holes here and then they have pegs over here um, uh, so they will just push together and then they have pegs on the feet that will just push into the holes on the bases if you have um, bought any other Games Workshop easy build miniatures you'll know exactly what you're getting um, it's very similar to the storm cast from things like Underworlds and finally you get a frame of the chain rasps and chain rasps weren't in the small um, starter set, but they were in the large Soul Wars starter set, which retails for £95. And they are now available as a separate purchase. The separate purchase price for these full retail is £25, and it was £10 for the sequiturs. These are really lovely. I'm a big fan of the Night Haunts. I think they have so much character. They are beautifully sculpted. Um, they're just really really interesting they are suitably scary you know as scary as small pieces of plastic can be really um they are, they're really very very lovely there's no um there's no build options really um there's one piece that you won't use i think it's this piece um because of the way that the frame works um there's there's one piece that you can build um you can build in with um, I think you can either build them with the, the, the candelabra or you can build them with um, this item instead. I can't remember exactly, but there's one piece that you don't use. Um, but yeah, there's 10 on there in total. They are push fit. They go together very nicely. Um, I've looked at them in detail in other videos um, when I did the Soul Wars coverage. And that's very nice. So... You know that's that's where the this frame and this frame is where the bulk of your value is coming in, and I don't need to tell you that two ninety nine for thirteen Games Workshop miniatures is a steal. That's before we look at you know the the magazine, the dice, um, all the other bits and pieces, the the range ruler, just just this here. Um, the full retail price, like I say, is £10 and £25, so £35. So you can argue you're getting £32 and a penny off the retail price of these. But um, I don't want to blow the figures completely out because these are from different starter sets. And uh, when you look at the next few issues in the run, um, the, the value over the course of the first four issues does sort of level out a little bit around the same sort of value as if you were to purchase the storm strike starter set although you do get these extra chain wraps i'll talk about that in detail in a moment that's the running theme of this video oh my God, i've been talking for a long time let's have a look at the magazine and then from that um, you'll be able to see whether it's worth you picking up just this issue alone it's following very much the format of the 
Warhammer 40,000 Conquest magazine. So at the start, we get some fluff. We've got a bit here on the Age of Sigmar. Um, we have a little bit on Chaos. Stormcast Eternals. And then obviously we have a bit about Sequiturs. They, they come with this magazine, so you would expect that. A um, little bit on war gear and what they are armed with. Ruddy great big hammers and what's not. And then we've got a bit on the night haunts. That is not a Nazgul on a fell beast. Um, and then a bit on chain rasps because obviously that's the uh, the models that came with it. And then we've got our how to build section. So. Very straightforward, very simple stuff. Like I say, these are push fit miniatures. They are designed to go together without glue, but you do need clippers. If you have just picked this up off the shelf and you have never um, handled Games Workshop miniatures before, you will need clippers, really. Um, you know, there are other ways to get things out of the frame, but you can pick up a, some, some clippers for next to nothing. You can find them in pound stores, or you can get them online from eBay or Amazon or anywhere. Uh, hobby kits are, you know, very easy to come by at good prices. And if you subscribe, you do get some clippers, I believe. But yeah, so you will need to clip them out. Just follow these simple instructions and you will have your first miniatures assembled. Very nice. And uh, yeah, it does say there, um, there's an extra component that you won't need. And it is actually that one that I pointed out by the looks of it. Go me! I almost know stuff sometimes. Um, and then we got a little bit on how to paint Citadel miniatures. But the interesting thing is, um, you may have noticed, this issue doesn't come with any paint. When the first issue of 40k Conquest was out, that actually came with some paint. So you could actually start slapping some paint on some miniatures straight away. With this magazine subscription, you have to wait a little while. You start getting paint with issue two, but you're only getting one pot at a time. So you're not gonna get very far with your painting over the first few issues. And then we have the Eve of Battle, and we're gonna get a little tutorial. The Battle of the Barrows using our beautiful little uh, map here. And it looks like they've gone straight to the bit of the rules where you pile in and hit people with weapons. Um, they're just doing the fight sequence. Pile in weapons to hit rolls, remove models, and then opponent fights back. So, yeah, they're, they're covering uh, the most basic thing that allows you to actually roll some dice and move some models around. So, uh, yeah, Secretor's attack, Chain Rouse attack. Um, done deal no special rules no stats at this point just rolling the dice letting you know who wins so there we go very simple very straightforward um and then obviously a big advert to subscribe so there we go that is issue one of mortal realms and at 299 i think if you see this on the shelf and you're even half interested in age of sigmar pick it up you can't go wrong at that price um, if you already play Age of Sigmar, obviously $2.99 will get you a whole bunch of new miniatures that you can use. Uh, if you play Warcry or something, you can probably use these miniatures in that. Um, there's, there's, you know, just practice painting with them. It doesn't matter. Uh, for $2.99, you're never going to have a better opportunity to get 30 miniatures to practice your art on and not worry too much uh, at, at the final outcome because you haven't spent a lot of money on them. I do expect these to fly off of shelves. Um, in the WH Smith I was in, there was only one on the shelf. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic value for that first issue. And like I say, you can look at it and say that you're saving £32 and a penny over buying those two frames of miniatures at full retail price. But um, let's have a quick look at the next three issues and look at the value there. So this is the huge piece of card that the magazine was mounted on in the shop to give it some presence. And it shows you the next three issues that are coming. And we can see that in issue two, um, the price goes up to $5.99 for this issue. But you get a brush, you get one pot of paint, and you get a frame of easy build Maya Morn Banshees. Which come in the Stormstrike starter set. And then in issue three, 
um, it goes up to the full price of $7.99. And you don't get a brush, but you do get another pot of paint. And then you get some castigators with a griff hanged. And again, those come in the Storm Strike starter set. And then in issue four, you get a proper battle map to start playing games on, um, another pot of paint, and you get a frame of the easy build glaive wraiths, which also come in the Storm Strike starter set. So basically, if you tot up the prices you've paid there, um, it works out, um, it's $2.99, $5.99, $7.99, and $7.99. So that's £24.96 total. And you have ended up with the entire contents of the Storm Strike starter set, plus a frame of chain rasps, a brush, and three pots of paint. However, what you're not getting is the Storm Strike starter set has um, little cards, data cards, for the units, and it also has a really nice glossy book in there. It's quite a quite an in-depth history of of the world and then getting you started with the hobby. Um, the kind of stuff that will eventually appear in this magazine over time, but you get it all in a nice single glossy book. So overall, this is better value than buying the Stormstrike starter set, which is £25. Um, you're paying £24.96 and you're getting that extra frame of chain rasps and the paints and the brush. However, if you subscribe, it gets even better value because if you subscribe, you get issue three free. So that saves you another $7.99. So you're looking at, uh, what's that, $16.97? So yeah, those first four issues um, as a subscriber, they are a good deal. But here we go, we're talking about subscribing now and the fact that you get issue three free. So let's take a quick look at the subscriber benefits. So if you subscribe right now, you will start your subscription at issue two, which will cost you $5.99. You will get issue three free. You will also get a modeling kit. This is the same modeling kit that they gave with 140,000 Conquest. It's a pot of plastic glue, some basic clippers, and a basic mold line remover. Very useful, still use mine. Although I do have some fancier clippers as well. And then, so okay, so issue three is free. Your modeling kit, comes with your first delivery because you need it straight away. Later on with your third delivery, and bear in mind, once you're subscribing, you will get four issues once a month. Um, rather than getting it weekly, you get your four issues in one bundle. Um, so with your third delivery, you will get a free binder and you will get the dividers. Again, that's exactly what they did with Conquest. With your fourth delivery, you will get your essential paintbrush set. So in addition to getting paintbrushes with the magazine, you will get a set of three. Again, they did exactly the same brush set with Conquest. It's a large base brush, a small base brush, and a medium shade brush. And then with your fifth delivery, you will get a painting handle. And then with your seventh delivery, you will get a water pot and one of the palette pads which are very good, very useful, but um, the Citadel one is well overpriced for what it is. I use a palette pad that cost me about a pound. And there we go. So that's your subscriber benefits. Um, those are good in and of themselves, but why, why would you want to subscribe? You might want to subscribe because you can collect all of this. Um, this is everything that's going to be coming over the course of the 80 issue subscription. We can see we have got um, some paints. It does not look like we have any contrast paints there, but if anybody can spot any, um, do point it out in the comments for me. I can't see any. Um, you're getting some more brushes. Um, you're actually getting one of the uh, the base tools for actually applying textured paint to the base, which um, they never did with Conquest. Um, you're getting a full Stormcast host. Lots of good stuff there. Um, you will notice that um, with um, Conquest magazine, you've got quite a lot of vehicles and things like that. Age of Sigmar doesn't have a huge amount of vehicles. It doesn't have a lot of war machines at all, really. So um, you're not seeing... It's a lot more... Uh, mounted um, like cavalry and monsters and regular foot troops 
and a couple of couple of bigger things at the back there. Um, I just very slowly pan down here. You can get a look at what's going on. More griff hounds down there. Our three golden minches from issue one, and then everything else in grey. And um, get a couple of uh, the big large crossbow war machines. Good stuff. And then obviously you get a Night Haunt force, which actually has the great big finger me bob in it, which is pretty cool. Um, the winged dudes. Again, all in glorious grey, apart from our original chain rasps. Um, I already have a few of these miniatures. There's the Marmon Banshees in the background there. Very nice. And then you get a chunk of terrain. Um, looks like you're getting a little bit of the old mausoleum set. I've got that full set. Um, some ruins, some statues, bits and pieces. I'm not as up on the Age of Sigma as I am on the uh, 40k, so um, other people may be able to say where uh, some of this terrain comes from and what sets, because I'm not that sure. But there we go, that's quite a lot of stuff. So that's what's coming over the course of the whole subscription. Now, the last thing to talk about is how to subscribe. There are two types of subscription. There's a regular subscription and there is a premium subscription. And the premium subscription for 40,000 Conquest was, in my opinion, dire. Um, you pay an extra two pounds per issue. Um, every issue is two pounds more. And then over the course of the 80 issue run, every 20 issues, you get a premium package. But I did not think the Conquest packages were that premium. You basically got a, a pizza box, which in, it had inside a cardboard box, which I guess was for storing miniatures, but probably isn't very useful for that purpose. Um, you got some dice, you got some data sheets for the units and a, a cardboard play mat um, which was the best thing in those premium subscriptions uh, and some cardboard tokens and I don't think it really worked out as good value for the amount that you're paying on top of on top of it I've watched people unboxing them in other videos I didn't subscribe to the premium level myself because um, they didn't say in advance what was going to be in the premium subscription and that set the alarm bells ringing and I just wasn't prepared to do it. And I, I was very happy with my decision. It looks like they have learned a little bit with this new uh, Mortal Realms package because the premium subscription is actually very interesting. And if I was going to subscribe to this magazine, I would definitely have gone premium because one... They're saying up front what you're getting. And two, it's an interesting idea. Let's have a look. So check this out. Your premium subscription actually gets you additional war bands. It gets you starter forces for four additional races. This is very cool for people who like to paint. It's very cool for people who want to try out new armies. Uh, and it's, it's very cool for people who might be um, using miniatures for other games like um, Warhammer Quest or Warcry or whatever or Homebrew Rules, Dungeons and Dragons, whatever. It's more Citadel miniatures and, you know, we all know those are great. So you pay £2 per issue more and your first, issue, first premium set contains a Flesh Eater Court set. You get a bunch of the Flesh Eater miniatures and you get um, a pot of paint and then a little magazine. And then they do the same thing 20 issues later for the Sylvanith and you get a lot more paints. Um, and then in, ish in the third premium subscription, you get the Auric War Clan. And then in the final one, you get the Blades of Corn. So you're getting four new ways to start new armies or just to have little skirmish battles um, they're pretty self-contained as starter forces and best of all 
um, that they're, they're good value. I mean, for example, I ran the numbers just on this Auric War Clan because it's the one that interests me the most because I like me some green skins. And it includes um, one pot of paint, um, which is 275. Um, the magazine, I guess that's going to have all the data sheets for these particular characters and a little bit of background information. Uh, so that's good. Um, and then you've got um, a unit of five brutes. And those retail, full retail price from uh, a Warhammer store is £30. And then you've got a shaman in the background there. He's uh, valued at £20. And then you have a mega boss down here. And he has a value of £24. So you're looking at £74 just for the miniatures. And then you're getting the paint and the magazine as well. And so that's good value. Um, again, it's one of those things though. It's like if you aren't that interested in some of these factions you're probably not going to want to do a premium subscription. If uh, you already have those particular miniatures, you might not want to subscribe to a premium subscription. But if you are a brand new player and you want to try out something beyond Stormcast and Night Haunts, this is a really cool way of doing it. Um, I'd be interested to know how many people take out this premium subscription. Like I say, I would, but I think... Um, spelling it out in advance and showing people exactly what it is and the fact that it's for very different factions um, they might get less takers than maybe they did for their blind purchased premium subscription for Conquest magazine it will be interesting to see I think that is everything I have to say I've covered um, everything you get in the first issue I've covered the value of the first issue I've covered your subscriber benefits if you subscribe we've taken a look at everything you get over the course of the entire subscription run we've had a look at those premium packages that they're offering i don't think there's anything else i have left to say if i have missed anything if there's anything you would like to know about this uh product or age of sigmar please leave your questions in the comments below i read everyone if uh, and i will respond if i get a chance to and I guess that's it from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. I realize this has been a bit of a slog. But if you have liked the video, please consider pressing the like button. And if you have really liked the video, please consider subscribing. If you don't already do so. Because I like wittering on like this all the time. And I hope I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now everybody. Bye bye.